Hey everybody, what's up? Deicide's new album, Banished by Sin, was released three days ago on April 26th. I have been really looking forward to hearing this album. We've already checked out the first two singles, those being Bury the Cross in Your Christ and Sever the Tongue, which I thought was the stronger song out of those two. However, that being said, Deicide released a new single titled From Unknown Heights You Shall Fall. Now, this is also the first song on the album, and they have a video for this song, but it's got a lot of graphic content, and that content is depictions of suicide. If you've seen one horror movie, you've seen them all, which this kind of stuff doesn't necessarily bother me, but we're just going to listen to the song and hear what it's all about. So, without further ado, the last Deicide single, the first track off the new album, Banished by Sin, this is From Unknown Heights You Shall Fall. All right, let's check it out. Thrash, he kind of sounds like Testament. All right, let's see where they go with this. Slayer vibes now. Definitely thrashy, old school DSI style. Has a once upon the cross kind of vibe to it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but this album is diverse. Glenn was not lying. Diverse in the sense of it being deicide, but each one of these singles has a different format to it, a different flavor, if you will. Um, I think that uh, Sever the Tongue is still my favorite song out of the three, but if these three songs are any indicator of how awesome this album is, we are all going to be pleasantly surprised. Yes, the album artwork isn't that great, but who cares? The songs so far are awesome. I've seen some of the other reviews. 
about this album, Banished by Sin, and I have not listened to the album in its entirety. I haven't really read all the interviews, but the numbers are, seem to be really high. You know, solid, solid, solid numbers, you know, on the scale of one to ten or one to five. How many stars is it? Three and a half to four stars is the uh, going uh, word on the street. And, you know, Glenn just gave another interview talking about how he was inspired by this by stuff in his life when working on this album. And, you know, sometimes art, you know, is enhanced by life. You know, some people say art is the uh, imitation of life or I, and life is the imitation of art. Who knows? Whatever the philosophy is behind that one. But you can tell when people are into what they're doing. And I think that Glenn and company were into making this album. Glenn had stated in that interview that he was no longer held back by dead weight or other people, whatever, the, whatever that means and who it's about, who knows. But... This album, to me, sounds inspired. Each one of these songs are different. The first three singles. Um, production's great. First album with Taylor Nordberg. You know, he worked on the engineering as well. It sounds awesome. Kevin Curran, of course, and Steve Asim, Asheim, whatever his name is. But awesome drumming. The songs are killer. All in all, so far, this is an awesome album. I'm going to have to listen to it in its entirety. But I can't complain. Like I said, some people are complaining about the album artwork. Who cares? I mean... Was it done by AI? Obviously. But according to Glenn, he <laughs> made this cover, you know, back, uh, you know, five or six years ago or whatever it was. But who knows? But I could care less. I mean, the album artwork needs to accurately reflect the music. And I think that it does because it is deicide. Should they use a real artist? Absolutely. But who cares? The music's awesome. But that's just my opinion. Um, this is three songs off the record. It's not the whole thing, of course. So going to have to take the time to listen to the whole thing in its entirety, like I said. But all in all, I feel pretty good about this. I feel a lot better about this album than I do the new Carrie King record. And I just did a reaction video to the new Motley Crue single, Dogs of War. And let me tell you, I was not impressed. Uh, the song was just mediocre. I mean, it's not Mozart, it's Motley Crue. But I was expecting something more like Wild Side, something that had a little more life to it. And John Five is an awesome guitar player, no doubt. But it, some people are saying that that song was written with AI. That's how bad it was. So it's like an album cover in a audio sense, if you will. But anyway, check out that video if you want to hear the song. Oh, there's a lot of comments on that video. People have some interesting and funny things to say about that uh, that single. But anyway, I really appreciate you guys checking out the channel. We continue to grow more content soon. Like and subscribe is always appreciated. Everybody needs to go out and listen to this new DSI record in its entirety. Tell me what you know or what you think about the album in the comments. You guys have an awesome rest of your night. You made it through Monday. One down, four to go. That's a feat in itself. Have a good night. Right on. Take it easy.